Hi, this is Meghnath. Welcome back. This is 30th lecture of this programming series tutorials. In this module, we will see how to write data into a file. So, let's get started. So, to do that, I'll create a file. So, let's go to D drive and I'm creating new uh, folder. And I'll create the folder name as content. And I'll give the file name as new text document hello.txt. Hello. So, Although I gave the file name as hello, I'm not seeing the extension, which I just explained in the previous module. In case if you want to see the file extensions, if you want to see the file extensions, all you have to do is click on view, options, change folder and search option, go to view again. So you just need to uncheck this option, hide extensions for known file types, you need to uncheck this. So then you can see the extensions. So I'm doing uncheck and click apply, click OK. So now I'm seeing the file extension. Now I don't have anything in this file. Close this. Now using C program, I'll show you how to write into this file. So now let's see how to do that. I repeat once again. Using C program, I'll write a C program to read some content in the, into this file. Now let's do this. Let's go to dev C++, I mean let's go to code blocks and I'll create the file. File, remember this is lecture 30, empty file and save it and I'll write here 30 dot write data into file dot C. I get the file name as write data into file and let me increase the font size as usual include stdivo.h and um, include carnivo.h and uh, void main yeah we discussed in the previous line, so I want to write a sentence. I want to write a sentence into the file. So for that, I need to declare um, I need to declare array of uh, characters, right? Care of uh, data. I'll just give around 200 characters, and uh, we need to declare file star fp. We did the same in the previous uh, video, and fp is equal to f open, and what's the path? D drive colon and you can actually see here so d colon content slash uh, I need to give one more slash I give the product folder name as content double slash and my file name is hello.txt what is the file name hello.txt and now what we'll do is we need to add the mode here so previously we read from the file but now we need to write into the file so you have to write here w so W indicates that you want to write into the file. And as usual, if FP is null, that means file not found. If FP, um, FP is equal to null, just mention as um, unable to, printf, printf, unable to open the file. Check the path. Okay, done. Now, if else, that means we got the address of, we, we got the value, stream value. So else, and we can write into the file. So else what we have to do, we need to ask user. Uh, printf, enter any sentence to write into file. Now user will enter the sentence. So sentence means we need to use get s. If you use printf, uh, I mean scanf, it'll only read up to the space. So I'll just use get s. And what is the data I gave? I gave here as data. Variable I gave as data. Now whatever user enters, I'm storing this into the data. Now what I have to do? I need to print this data into the file. So to print the uh, a character into the file, all you have to do is you need to use fprintf. Printf is used to print on the console. fprintf is used to print into the file. So fprintf, where we have to print in the stream fp, and uh, what we need to print, I need to print a, uh, I need to print a string. So percent yes comma uh, data. So that's it. This is how we need to write to print into the file and last we need to close it. And you can also mention a message saying like printf um, data saved in file. Thank you. So that's it. So this is how we need to write um, after this else. So something is missing. Where's my main method? Okay everything is there. And I'm writing here get ch. So that's it, we are done. So let's see if it works or not. As of now, my file is empty. I'm uh, doing fp, uh, file star fp, f open, 
and this time I'm using write mode and if FP is null that means I'm not able to open the file else um, I'm reading this sentence uh, from the user and I'll write I'm writing this line is used to write a string in case if you want to write integer you have to use percent %d and there's a variable that you want to store into the file so FP is the file stream and once you're written you just need to close it and this is just to display message for the user saying like data saved in the file so that's it so let's save it and before writing let's verify do you have any text here so we don't have any text in this close the file and build it and you can see it's done let's run the code so I'm writing here hi all hi all um, hope you had good learning so and I just pressed enter you can see data saved in file data saved in file in is missing there that's okay now let's see whether it's writing to the file or not let me open the file you can see here this is getting saved now the problem with this is if I if I execute this once again I'm writing here ABCD and data saved in the file now if I open the file it'll you can see that uh, the previous one is gone so it's actually writing every time it's rewriting it so the mode W in uh, C language indicates that uh, it will rewrite every time so what happens uh, what uh, in case if you want to append for the existing content you have to write here uh, a so a is used for appending R is used for reading W is for is used for overwriting every time so now now what I'll do is I'll just add here slash n so that it'll add in the next line so let's save it now let's see what happens now let's uh, build this code and no errors let's run the code and hello all and done let's see uh, let's open the file and you can see here it's printing hello all in the next line so let's run the code once again and this will be appended in the file thank you now see here file saved now let's go and see the file here so you can see here this will be appended in the file thank you so we just learned how to um, we just learned how to append into the file using C program right so now so this is how we can actually uh, write data into the file I hope you are uh, very clear with how to write uh, data into the file so thank you and as usual in case if you want to include any content in the file feel free to write to me this is my email address um, um, this is my email address feel free to write to me I will definitely uh, consider including any content that you suggest that will benefit um, this is my email address you can always write to me okay so that's all for now thank you and uh, one more thing I request uh, you to um, inform your friends and um, about this training uh, so that uh, someone will get benefited and I look forward to uh, create uh, multiple courses similar to this and uh, thank you for your support and uh, thank you once again for joining this course